For today's Monday makeup lesson, I want to talk you through my top five essential products to create any eye makeup look. And I'm not talking about eyeshadows, I'm actually talking about the products that I use to create any of the tutorials that you see here on my channel. Now, if you're new to the Makeup Chair channel and you like tutorials like this, then I might suggest clicking the subscribe button below, it's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started with talking about my essential products. The very first essential product, and probably the one I talk about the most, is an eyeshadow primer. So an eyeshadow primer helps the eyeshadows to go on better, last longer, and if it's tinted, it can create a blank canvas to work on as well. The reason it does this is it basically camouflages any of the discoloration that you might naturally have on your lid that we all have. It also helps to create a grip with the eyeshadows. Because the skin on the eyelid is, is so fine, it doesn't hold eyeshadows the way that you would hope that it would. So by applying a primer, it actually creates like a double-sided tape effect and gives it something to grip hold off. And that's going to help with the overall result and the application itself. Now, can you use a concealer? Yes and no. It depends on your actual eyelids. I find mine are quite dry and if I'm just applying a little bit of eyeshadow, I can kind of get away with using just my regular concealer. However, for oily lids, I wouldn't recommend it. You might end up with areas kind of missing or gapping or going kind of oily and greasy. It's not something that you want if you've put a lot of time into your eye makeup. And another question I get asked is, can you use a face primer? Again, yes and no. Face primers aren't really designed in the same way as eyeshadow primers are, so they don't create that really good grip. That's not to say that you can't apply it all over there, it just might not do the best job. So you are better off investing in a good eyeshadow primer that's going to help with your application and then your end result as well. Now my next essential would be a good mascara. And mascaras are there to create a framework around your eye. So your lashes are th really there to create that kind of a, a frame. Like literally think of it like a picture in your hand versus a picture in a frame. It's a very different result. So your lashes are there to create that framework. So by applying mascara, we get deeper, bolder, more defined lashes that can help to kind of complement all of the look that you've created on your eye. Now, fake lashes are obviously the next step on from using mascara. Mascara itself can do a pretty decent job provided you have the right one for you. Now, for me personally, I like to apply false eyelashes. It does take a little bit of practice, but I actually think sometimes applying mascara is a lot more difficult than applying lashes. But again, lashes are totally optional. And if you know how to build up your own natural lashes and you're using the right type of mascara, you can still create a beautiful finish. Now moving on to brushes, and I only have two that I would recommend. One would be a blending brush, the most important of all the brushes. You will use it to create every single look that you do. It creates that soft blurry blend, that perfect fade. Now not all blending brushes are the same. You need to make sure that you're using one that works with your eye shape, something that you feel comfortable using, and something that's going to either be kind of flat or tapered or maybe rounded. It's totally up to you. There's so many different varieties out there, but a good blending brush will go a long way. And then my second most essential brush would be something a bit smaller. So whether it's a pencil brush, a flat brush, or smudger brush, something that's a little smaller than your blending brush will give you a bit more control and is so much better to use to apply your darker eyeshadows because we're not going to be worried about it going kind of everywhere. We're a little bit more concentrated. It's gonna be more precise. And so a pencil brush or a slightly small blending brush is the way to go. Now I always end up using my larger blending brush to kind of finish off a look because that's what it's there for. However, a slightly smaller one will just give me a lot more control and allow me to apply those darker shades and give me some more detail. Now for everything else, I can pretty much use my fingertips if I want to apply glitter or some shimmer or anything like that, I can use my fingertips provided my nails aren't too long. And so that way I like to just minimize how many brushes I need to use. A slightly larger one and then a slightly smaller one will give me all the control that I need to create any eye makeup look. And my favorite for a slightly smaller brush would be the EO One by Blank Canvas Cosmetics because it's a small brush, it's kind of tapered, it's kind of flat, it's kind of like everything that you need in a brush and it would be my go-to. 
And then my very last essential would be a liner. So whether it's a pencil or a liquid or a gel, a liner is great for helping your mascara. So I'm not talking about using it to create a wing or any type of eye makeup looks with liner. I'm actually talking about using it to coat right at the lash line to create some depth at the lash line and also to camouflage any mistakes that you might have made. So sometimes when you apply false eyelashes, it can pull at your lash line and then you get like a little dip very annoying. This way you can use the liner just to camouflage that area and deepen it so it blends better with your lash line. It's also great if you end up with a little bit of eyeshadow dropping onto your lashes, which your mascara just cannot seem to catch and cover. So applying a little bit of gel there will actually help to camouflage any of the lightness, glitter, or anything that might have dropped onto your lashes. So it's not always just about creating a winged look. Sometimes it can be there to create more of a structure and a little bit more definition at the lash line. And there you go. Those are my five essential products, um, two of them being brushes and three of them being products. And I'd love to know if there's any products that you would recommend or something that you find essential or not essential. I'd love to hear from you guys. We're doing Friday favorites. I used to do Friday favorites back in the day, long time ago. And I wanted to bring it back because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I need old school stuff to deal with everything that's going on. You know what I mean? I've just realized, right? This is the Friday favorites and fails of February. And that's a lot of Fs. And it's the first one that I've done in ages. So it's like the first Friday favorite and fails of February. Is that five? <laughs> five, five, five Fs. Five six F's. Oh, also, I think I have five products. Seven F's. I don't know. I'm just being really silly. Maybe we should re redo that. <laughs>